Hello, I am Liviane, software engineer in the IoT Edge Processing Group, and I'm going to talk about how to extend the wireless capabilities by adding cellular connectivity to Edge devices. NXP's MCU based portfolio is highly optimized for MLAI, voice and audio applications, as well as efficient data acquisition from sensors and signal processing through a rich set of peripherals, integrated security, and extremely low power modes. Adding cellular connectivity extends the edge solutions capabilities, making it easier for users to design, develop, and deploy wireless solutions. Cellular connectivity increases the flexibility and the coverage to access the internet where the Wi-Fi is not available. The majority of new IoT connections don't actually require 4, 4G's maximum speeds and throughput, and this is where LTEM comes in. To accommodate today's IoT connectivity requirements, such as extended and reliable coverage, low data rates, long battery life, and low costs. As key applications, we can enumerate the smart metering field, smart cities, connected health, and transportation. In order to prove the cellular LTEM usage and operability with an embedded board, we'll consider the NXP IMXRT685 evaluation kit working together with a sequence device such as a Monarch LTEM capable modem. The boards will be connected, uh, paired together through a serial connection that will accommodate the AT commands interface. Basically, the embedded board will gain cellular capabilities through the serial interface by running the network stack on top of the AT cellular library. In the following steps, I will show two use cases and illustrate how to control the embedded board by using a remote control device such as an Android application or a web browser. Basically, we will remotely control the board's LEDs and uh, will read some data from the board, the accelerometer orientation or cellular signal strength, and display this data through the user interface. For these scenarios, the devices will operate together through a cloud service such as uh, Amazon Web Service or Azure Cloud. In the first case, we have the connectivity through the Amazon Web Services Cloud. In the cloud, we have a thing uh, created and associated with the physical board. And on the activity menu, we can uh, inspect the uh, activity and uh, see when the device uh, is attached to the, to the cloud. Now we'll start the uh, evaluation kit, the physical board and uh, we should be able to see the exchange the messages with the with the cloud after the board uh, has been connected to the cloud we can use the shadow menu to inspect the the messages exchanged between the remote uh, application and uh, and the board. We'll start the Android application and uh, with the buttons uh, we can toggle the LEDs on the board. And with the accelerometer refresh button, we can read the accelerometer uh, data or orientation data. That was for the for the first case, and now we have the second case: the connectivity through the Azure Cloud uh, Services. For this use case, I flashed on the board and started in the background the specific application to interact with the Microsoft uh, Azure Cloud. 
In this case, we also have a thing, a device profile created in the cloud and associated with the real device. This profile has a few more data, uh, some of them being just uh, simulated and hard-coded uh, on the board. On this uh, dashboard, we can see the real accelerometer data that are read uh, uh, from, the, from the board, um, the real cellular uh, signal strength, uh, the light sensor and the processor current are uh, simulated data, as well as the local GPS uh, position. Uh, depending on the uh, modem uh, capabilities, we, we could have uh, on the location a uh, specific uh, GPS, uh, real uh, specific uh, GPS uh, data. We also have the settings menu, which we can use to, to configure data on the board as uh, the LED functions. The about and uh, help info, which provides uh, further details. And also the raw data menu, which uh, can be used to, to inspect in detail the exchange data between the board and the cloud and to see all the transactions. So this has been the, the, second, uh, the second use case, uh, connecting to the Azure cloud service. Also, you may find useful these public resources like uh, MCU Expresso SDK, the Monarch LTM development kit, the sequence models page, and the NXP evaluation kits. Thanks for your attention.